You know, Dale Carnegie once said that one of the sweetest sounds that anybody ever hears is the sound of their own name. Can you picture the resurrected Jesus? Is there anybody more powerful? The resurrected Jesus, is there anybody more loving? The resurrected Jesus, is there anyone who's able to forgive like he forgives? Can you imagine him speaking your name? The truth is this, before you were born, he was speaking your name. When you were a child, he was speaking your name. In the middle of of everything that's happening right now, he's speaking your name. Would you do like Mary and just turn and listen to his name? Maybe you heard your name once a long time ago and then you walked away. And maybe through this season, the Lord's bringing you back and you're hearing your name again. Maybe you've heard it recently. You're like, man, I don't know. Everything is kind of chaotic and it's kind of surround, but I, I just sense that there's something more. I think what you're sensing is it's that the risen Savior is calling your name. And he's calling your name because he wants to transform you. He wants to transform you from death to life, from loneliness to friendship and from fear to hope. But not everybody gets transformed. It would be kind of, kind of cruel of Jesus to force transformation on people. But we're transformed when we say yes to him. To say, yes, Christ, I want you to be the leader of my life. I want you to be the forgiver of my life. I'm accepting the gift of your Holy Spirit. I'm coming after you. Then there's a transformation that begins to happen. And it all starts with us hearing our name. And my guess is that you've been in a season where you've heard your name. The question is, will you ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life and ask him to transform you?